have arrived. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Oh, shit. <laughs> Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you! Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with low lowlifes like me. Here. He's got his uses. I'm gonna use a fucking user! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. Motherfucker! Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves, to rob me. 
Them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Follow me. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. You give them up. <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Lleva no isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Cock so 
sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Vecino, but we would have got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got the suspicion those were the ones Ray Vecino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a blood bag. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten there. Stole them from you, did they? No, they stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for him. It's good they're on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. No, 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 the population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. Yeah, you can catch me right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Or I don't know, maybe to Bulgari. Bulgari? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgari in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgan had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boham to get away from him with another man called Dimitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. <laughs> 